Hello everyone. Today's video is going to show you how to enter an incident into your OSHA log and print your OSHA log forms. To begin, you will need to enter your username into the Propel Insurance client portal, then hit login. This will then take you into the Propel Insurance client portal landing page. From here, you will simply hit the OSHA tab. This is going to log you into the OSHA log home screen. Next, we will concentrate on these first three tabs. You can record an incident if you know that the incident needs to be recorded. You can ask the incident advisor some yes or no questions to determine whether or not it should be recorded, or you can simply print a form. So I will start with ask the incident advisor. This will ask you a series of yes or no questions to help you determine whether you should be entering it into the log or not. So to get started, is the affected person on your company or organization's payroll? I will hit yes. Was the incident or injury work related? I will hit yes. Did the injury or illness involve a fatality? I'll hit no. Did the incident or injury cause the employee to have days away from work? I'll hit no. Did the incident or injury cause the employee to perform restricted work or transfer to another job? I'll go ahead and select yes. You can see that based on OSHA guidelines, you should record this incident. From here, you can record the incident or you can click on record it later. I will hit on record the incident. Next, it will go through a series of questions. It will start by gathering general information. In the establishment dropdown, your specific community will already be preloaded. You'll just simply select the community for which you want to record the incident for and hit next. You'll then enter a new employee or select from a list below. You can see that it has already pre-filled with first name, last name, home address, so on and so forth. Then hit next. Go ahead and select the date of the incident. Then enter the time. Then enter what time the shift began and hit next. From the incident summary screen, you'll have to answer a series of questions. What was Sarah doing just before the incident occurred? If you don't know how to answer these questions, you can click on see examples and the system will give you ideas of what they are looking for. If at this time you need to gather additional information or you don't have time to finish, you can simply hit skip to review. Will that then indicate that your case is not complete because we left those first or the last two sections completely blank. You can go back and edit them at any time or make adjustments to already completed sections by hitting review. You can also just hit finish. You can see that the incident does save, it just saves as incomplete. On the right hand side of the screen, you can go back and edit the incomplete incident, or you can delete it altogether if you determine it does not need to be recorded. You can also see that it will store your incidents year over year. So as long as you are keeping up with this and entering incidents as they occur, you can go in here at any time and print a form. You simply select the radio button for the form you would like to download. Then you select the year for which you want it to download. Then click the download button. It will then generate a PDF that's already pre-populated with all of the information. Here is an example of your 300 log, your 300A, as well as your 301s. So again, as long as you are entering all the information, 
in the record an incident section, you can simply print forms from here at any point in time. And that is really all we need to cover today. It is very straightforward, a simple process to follow. If anyone does have questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me directly, or if you need any assistance with login information, I can assist with that as well. Um, my name again is Julia Sommer with Propel Insurance, and uh, please let us know how else we can help. Thank you so much for your time today. Bye.